Hey folks, welcome back. Today we'll prep where the last video left off. You'll see how to prepare your 37mm hull and complete construction of the bird bang around. But first, this legal crap. Read the page. Seriously, this is for fun and education. Anything you try to replicate is not my fault. You blow your hand off, create something illegal, get arrested, don't come back to me, not my fault. In the last video, I showed you how to construct your bird banger payload. Now, let's see how we prep our metal and plastic hulls, including a couple tricks I've learned along the way. Now that the hot glue inside your payload is dried, you need to prep your hull, which means starting by prepping the fuse. This is done by using a utility knife to trim the fuse down to 1 fourth of an inch, but it's important that you cut it at a 45 degree angle. This ensures that a proper amount of the inner flammable core of the fuse is exposed, which gives you a more consistent ignition of your payload once it leaves the hull. You want to start with a clean plastic or metal hull and insert the primer. Instead of making a separate video on removing a used primer, I decided to start here since it's a very quick and easy step. You could use a table vise, a block of wood with a small hole, a roll of electrical tape. You just need something that you can set the base of the hull on top of with a hole for the used primer to fall through. For me, I just use whatever I already have out. Normally when I'm depriming a lot of rounds, I'll put up my tabletop vise. To illustrate my point, I'm using a low tech method here a simple set of pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and a lightweight hammer. It's as easy as setting the base of the hull on the surface and punching it through with your hole punch or Phillips screwdriver. The metal hulls will be easier to punch out the used primer than the plastic hulls. Starting with one of the metal hulls, take a 209 primer and insert it into the bottom of the hull base. If it fits snug, you're good to go. Give it a few shakes to ensure it stays in place. However, if you insert the primer and it shakes out, you need to use a spot of crazy glue, hot glue, or the easiest method, a paper towel. Just lay a small piece of the paper towel over the hole, insert the primer again, and rip away the excess paper. Now, the 209 primer will stay in place until you're ready to use it. Now with these plastic hulls, you might run into an issue where the primer does not easily fit into the base. I've got a quick and easy solution for this. I use a small C-clamp as a makeshift press. Let the resistance from the table and the clamp do the work for you of pressing the primer into the base of the hull. This is a safe and easy method. Check that the primer sits flush with the base of the hull and you're ready for the next step. Before pouring any powder into your hull, you'll need to insert a powder bushing, which is essentially a small cup for the powder to sit in, also called a powder cup, so that the powder grains are held directly above the primer to create the most efficient ignition or lift charge. Some of the higher quality metal hulls from Exotic and other places may have this cup permanently milled into the hull, which makes them super easy to work with. But when you're working with these less expensive ones, you need to create your own. You need to either buy plastic powder cups, aka bushings, or you can make your own using paper end cups that come with these tubes. I buy extra for this exact reason. I buy 100, 200 at a time. They're multifunctional. Simply punch a 5 16th inch hole into the center of the paper end cup and hot glue it to the bottom of the plastic hull, just like this. This will ensure your powder is held in an ideal placement directly above the primer for the best ignition. It's time to pour your lifting charge. I have my Lee powder pour set to 45 grains, the same as my payload charge. This keeps me under the current ATF guidelines for signaling rounds as the date of making this video. Repeat the loading steps with all of your prepped hulls and you're almost done. Insert your bird bang around that I showed you how to make in the previous video. Hold the plastic hull vertical so that the powder does not spill out of the cup and insert in a down twisting motion. Make sure it fits snug, but not overly tight. You should be able to remove the payload without too much effort. Loading live store-bought ammo like smoke, fireworks, and signaling flares is just as easy. They're a little narrower, so you'll need to use modeling rubber bands to create a snug fit when inserting them into metal hulls. I take two small modeling rubber bands, hold them together, and double wrap them at the fuse end of the payload. I repeat the process two or three more times along the length of the tube, depending on which hull I'm using. This helps create a good fit and keeps out the moisture. To make them watertight, and so they don't run the risk of coming apart during transportation, I add a small bead of hot glue to close the gap between the payload and the hull. And that's it! Let the finished 37mm round dry, and you are ready for fun. See you next time.